Having already watched the last video, create variables to represent the position, velocity, and radius of each particle. Add code for the drawing, including wall collisions and including dynamics for the second particle. Run the code and watch the failure. Realize that you've screwed up the code for the dynamics of particle two. Correct it, run the code again, and check that both particles move and bounce off the walls. Success. Now it's time to add particle collisions. Go to Wikipedia and look up the equations for the outgoing velocities of each particle following a collision. Realize you don't want to implement the full equations yet, and instead find the simple rule that if they have the same mass, they just swap velocities. Implement this solution by determining the distance at which they collide, which is simply when the distance between the particles is less than the sum of their radii. Run the code again and watch them bounce. Now, add a mass for each particle and implement the full elastic collision equations. Ponder how to derive the equations and realize that you forgot a stupidly useful substitution that resulted in you getting nothing like the intended equation on Wikipedia. Return to the code happy in the knowledge that you have access to an awesome, free, extensive, continuously updated online encyclopedia. Change the color of the two particles and their mass. Make each of their radii reflect their mass and watch the amazing David versus Goliath result, considering that intriguing three blue, one brown video where two masses, orders of magnitude difference in size that collide with one another, compute the value of pi.